Hey guys, welcome back, and I'm back for another video. Today we're going to talk about your guides, your ancestors, your helpers that may be around you, um, and how to recognize if you have a new one, because guides come and go, our helpers come and go through life. And I recently discovered that um, I have a new guide that is helping me. Um, but more through healing sessions I do believe at the minute than anything so how do we know how do we recognize the signs so this is probably I'm gonna to have to tell you a little bit of a story of what's happened so probably about a year and a half ago I went through to my friends Claire Thackeray's in Lincoln and obviously she's a Reiki master as well and a shamanic practitioner. And uh, there was three of us, there was me, Kirsty and Claire. And Claire decided to use the drum. So she was banging the drum. So we all went into like sort of a, a meditative state with the drum, focusing on the drum, focusing on the beats. And I was taken to a scene by a river and I was running along the river, jumping across the stones down this river and I had this pack of wolves that were with me and I know that wolves work with, with, with my energy anyway um, and I do have wolf animal guys that work with me as well and and these wolves were running along with, with, with me and the, we were bouncing along to the beat of the rhythm of, of this drum and it was, it was really really profound and very um, kind of you know, it was so real. It was like I was, I was there. It was like in it. Um, so that was like part of me. You know, part of my soul was was there in that moment. So it was really, really powerful and really lovely. Never really thought any more about it until probably about a year later. So I'm probably going back, maybe last year sometime. I had this really wonderful dream. And it was very much the same sort of dream where I was running down this river with this pack of wolves. And, um, but then when I ran down the river, I came to the end and I came out of the river and I went to this sort of meeting point where there was all these um, elders, shamans, Native Americans, there was all these elders, like a ring of ancestors that were there waiting for me. Um, and it was an initiation process that I was going through and I was given the name so I was given my shamanic name which was Running River or my Native American name Running River and I was like oh this, and this was like and this reminded me of that scene so that scene came back when I was at Claire's house so it reminded me of that it was a very very vivid wonderful wonderful um, dream scenery um, and I remember it to this day, it was really, really lovely. Um, and then I woke up and I was like, whoa. And something something felt different internally. My energy felt different. It felt as though there was something else that was going on. Um, and and it was that from that point on, I realized that that was, that was now my name. I'd been given, I'd been initiated and given this name by these, um, Native American elders, these shamans, these wonderful, wonderful ancestors that were there. And so my healing journey kind of like started to change and I started to adapt different things within my healing practice. And I was doing more, um, more blowing um, of the breath and more working with the breath through healing, healing sessions and getting a lot more deeper into more um, more like chanting and in internal work as well that was going on so that there was a change in my practice so you might recognize this yourselves when when you're going through and maybe another guide is working through you or working with you there might be a change in your practice whether it's healing or whether you're working on on a different level, whether it's psychic work or whether it's mediumship, you know, you, there might be a different level of something coming in that, that is working with you. And that is a really, really good sign, a really good indication that a different guide 
is there now working with you because our guides dip in and out for for whatever we need whatever transition that we're going through whatever healing we may need um and whatever is happening in our earthly life they're there to kind of not show us or tell us but just to help us and give us little indications um, but obviously you need to ask them for help as well if you want if you would do actually want their help you need to ask them for that um so getting back to the story so that had happened and then just the other day i was working with a client um, and it was an in-person client and sometimes i'll see stuff during the session sometimes i won't it'll just be a really relaxing session this session i was very much made aware um, because this person had some some pain that she wanted to work with some pain that she wanted to release and it was very intense pain and extreme pain and before my sessions I always ask um, I ask for the Reiki energy I do my little my process I do my gasho I do my Hatsu Reho I do my initiation my process before any sessions and just ask for the highest good of all involved for the for the healing to take place and if there's anybody else that is present guides ancestors helpers angels and archangels and anyone in spirit that wants to help for the highest of intentions for that healing then to assist and um, it, I was made aware that during that session during this healing session where obviously this lady was going through some extreme pain that needed to be addressed and wanted some healing for that there was another guide came in to help with the healing so I, I'd already had one guy that was there that I was aware of that was to my left and he he is usually always present to my left sometimes I'll feel another guide on my right but this one was always it was very present on my left it was my male Native American guide but then there was another guy that came in and out of out of nowhere out of thin air the word Mongolian came through and I could see this Mongolian guide working around her leg um and he had he had rattles he had drums um, he was using his hands he was blowing he was chanting he was using smoke he was dancing he was moving around the whole room moving, moving around the body and you might have seen them in if you look for um i did a little bit of research yesterday just to have a look just to see what they actually look like and if if what i was seeing and i wasn't just making it up if actually what i was seeing was how they dress and how they appear and boy yes it were th they were he, he was wearing this wonderful costume and it had all these long tassels and he was spinning and dancing and moving around the room with um great gusto and, and around this affected area where this pain was um and that is kind of like what they do and then they work with the earth elements the spirit elements that they work with so many different um things and, and I was as I was going through this this session I was very made aware that now this Mongolian guide is working with me and I feel very blessed to to have him present and it's only since then as well that my my healing practice has changed again slightly so there's more shamanic stuff coming through with the Reiki um, really really wonderful really powerful stuff and you feel it through every fiber of your being when it's when it's being when it's moving when it's channeling, channeling through you and you can feel it really really powerful stuff um, and I mean I've not had any shamanic training whatsoever other than what I'm shown what I'm guided to do um, through the process and the, I've just finished a session today um, and I was doing a lot more breath work. I was feeling a lot more internally that was going on um, within me for for the client because it was a distance session. Um, I always do my distance sessions in this room, and um, and I could feel all this stuff rising up from within. I was very very. It was almost like a deeper connection to the client, um, a deeper connection of of the emotions as well. Some real powerful emotions joy um strong strong feeling of, of like happiness and, and just overwhelming and, and I, my eye, my eyes became quite teary and 
it was really, really beautiful, but really, really powerful. And I could feel my whole body was just zinging. It was that wonderful vibrational feeling that we get when our vibration lifts. And we feel like, oh, wow, this is something, this is something else going on here. I mean, Reiki is powerful, but this felt like something else had just come in and lifted it. And, and I, w I was told to like clap my hands. So I was clapping my hands around the body. I was using crystals. I was breathing. I was blowing. Um, amazing. It was really, really amazing. So I just wanted to come on and share that with you because this is something that you may experience if a new guide is coming in, a new guide is working with you. You may feel a different energy. You may want to, like I said earlier, you may change things within your practice. There may be a different way of communication as well. Um, so usually for me, my communication is very visual and a very, f it's like a, a knowing and a feeling that I get. Um, there has been changes where I've become more auditory. I mean, I, I was clear, a little bit clairaudient earlier, but it is becoming more clear. Um, the clairaudience is becoming clearer. Um, and it's, it feels more, um, more protected. Um, it feels, it, I feel strong internally. And I think this is where, maybe where, because I made a video yesterday and I was explaining why I haven't made a video for a while because I seem to be going through a lot of like shifts and I was feeling a little bit shitty and a little bit out of whack and a little bit pissed off and and you know there's a lot of stuff going on um, globally, internally, um, yeah and, and a lot of stuff we're being made aware of not just of ourselves but other people as well so that there is a hell of a lot of stuff that is going on has been kind of thrown into the mix um, and it confuses us you know it confuses all of us you know none of us are perfect and, and we're all kind of on this journey together of unfolding and discovery and that's why I like to share these videos on here because you may be experiencing something similar where you might be going through something you just don't know what it is you just feel you might just feel really heavy. You may feel the other end of the spectrum where you felt, feel really, really high. That's really, really good. But we're always gonna go up these peaks and troughs where we do go through these different sensations and these different feelings. It's totally normal. It's part of being human. So the process is as it is. And as I, as I said yesterday in that video, it is what it is. We just have to go through with it. But. Uh, so yeah, so your guides will connect with you in a different way. Um, when I made ever made my first ever connection with my first ever spirit guide that came through me um, and and made a connection to me, it was very kind of like bam in your face um, because that connection needed to be made. It was a very powerful, intimate connection that needed to be made, and that was after my Reiki level one attunements. And again, Native American, again, a lot of Native American energy has been coming through um, with that. And uh, y you'll have, if, if you're a follower of this channel, you'll have heard this story many times before. If you're new to the channel, then I will share it with you. But she made her name present. Um, sorry, she made herself present by the word um, Hyoka, and I kept hearing this word Hyoka over and over and over again, and I had no reference to what it meant, not a clue. Um, so, and it was going over and over in my head all the time, and I was just like, is it, is it something to do with Reiki? Is it the healing? Is it something I need to be aware of? So I just asked, and I just said out loud, you know, if this is someone that wants to connect with me, if it's a guide, if it's someone that is is here for my highest good, then can you show me in my reality, in the physical world, um, what this word means? The very next day I go into my YouTube feed, and this is a massive synchronicity thing, um, go into my YouTube video uh, feed, and the first video on that feed was just the word Hyoka. I was like, oh, bingo, right, watch the video. So I learned about the Hyokans, the Hyokan, 
um, Native Americans, the tribes, um, and and these every tribe has a hayoka, and they're basically like the they're the poets, they're the musicians, they're the entertainers, they're the um, some of them are the, the magicians, um, the doctors. They they come in all different forms within each tribe, but each tribe has a hayoka. And they're very, very intuitive, and they're known as being one of the most intuitive of, of all intuitives um, within within the within the energy, I suppose, within within the Native Americans and within life, I suppose, as well. Um, one of the most uh, intuitives. Um, that's the only word I can I'm being given that I can use is the, one of the most intuitives. Um, so and then. Um, another name started ringing in my head and this was her name you know so I was like you know if this is your name um, can you make me feel or be aware of your presence can you connect to me in some way so I can actually feel that it's I'm not going crazy and this is actually real um, so I went into a meditation and just calmed my mind and just said all this stuff in my mind and I had this overwhelming feeling of just bliss and love and joy and all these higher vibrational energies which are absolutely amazing um, and I just felt this energy sort of like move through me and then come back into my body and then just sort of surge up all the way up my body and out the top and I was just like kind of like whoa what was that it was just absolutely amazing um, and that was one of the first experiences that I had with with a guide so you know if you've not connected to your guides yet something similar may happen but they're also very gentle and very subtle because they don't want to kind of like scare us or any of that sort of stuff um, I have asked some silly questions over the years like you know can you can you move this or can you do that uh, to, to make me aware that you're here and the message that I got was well we don't do parlor tricks you know that's not what they're there for um, they're there just as a, as a loving guiding energy and they, they work through you they're, they're all connected it's connected to your energy they're always around you and, and within your auric field so when you feel that tingling when you feel that shift when you feel that awareness or something lift within you you know when when you are wanting to connect with them they are there so use your body use your body as your um, your voice your thermometer um, of of energy um, because the same when 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 I'm in healing sessions or if I'm doing any sort of intuitive work or it's the same with mediums, you know, when they're receiving messages sometimes they'll feel that within their body, on a part of their body, it's exactly the same for me when I'm doing a healing session, I might feel something internally on an empathic level um, and or on an, on an intuitive level I will feel it internally um, and a message that I need to, to move forward, to give through. And that's another way that they will work with you. So if, if you're, basically the overriding message is, if your guides are wanting to connect with you, they will. They will make themselves known. But if you're already aware of them and if there's a new guide coming in to work with you, there may be a slight shift in how you're feeling. Um, sometimes when this strong energy comes in, there is a there has to be a, a change in your vibration. So when this and these two energies come together, it might go you might go through a stage where you're just like oh my god what is this i can't seem to like sort of shake this you know but it's just, it's sometimes it's the meeting of these two energies that can create this um make things fur up a little bit because there needs to be an explosion within there needs to be a reaction to allow this energy to come through so you may be experiencing that as well you might feel that and again you, you might just have a change of ways you are practicing the ways you are being um, the way you speak as well some of the words that you use might be different um, and that's another way that they can con connect through you as well through through the speech through your language um, and yeah it's it, it really is wonderful but whatever is happening it'll be for your highest good so don't be afraid don't be scared they're there to help you they're there to guide you they're there to protect you and they're with you on every step of your journey so I hope this video helps somebody today who may be experiencing something a little bit unusual um, but this is all part and parcel of this journey the unusual the 
unseen, the mystic, the occult, um, it's all part of a wonderful, wonderful journey and it's, it's not there for negative reasons, it's there for knowing and understanding and learning and healing and going through some wonderful, wonderful changes internally. So, there we go. Are your guides connecting to you? Are you getting a different guide moving in? That's what this video is all about today. If you enjoyed it, please give me a subscribe, please give me a like, share the video to people that might enjoy this content. But until the next video, much love, take care of yourselves. And toodaloo for now.